Hey everybody, it's Apple Dash, and I'm going to show you how to make a ginger cat. So as normal, we start off with the white in the layer, and we'll just delete it as we color select it, and we'll control A on our keyboard, make a new layer, put it underneath the line art layer. And for a ginger cat, we'll obviously go down to orange, but we don't want to pick a too bright orange so it doesn't look too unrealistic, but we still want to pick an orange. So that's way too bright, way too bright of an orange. So maybe I'll try something that's too light. So maybe we'll try something like that. That kind of looks more realistic, but if you're doing like Firestar for some reason, you might want to try um, like something like this. But we're not doing Firestar, so we'll go back to our original. Uh, but I, whatever. Okay, so to do our stripes, we're gonna go down, and we're we're gonna pick a darker color. So if I didn't make any sense, what I mean to do is, so we have this orange right here. And on our color range, which is um, right here, the rainbow to the thing, we are going to go down from the orange to a darker color. So, not red, but so a darker orange on the scale. And we'll just want to go to a little darker, and then that will be the color for our stripes. So, like on our normally we do like down here but that's not the case for this time we'll go down on the color wheel here so um we'll just draw on our stripes and that looks not dark enough so i'm just gonna go a little darker and that looks a little better so i'm just gonna draw the stripes as i see fit and if I realize that I don't have a good color, um, I'll change it by just color selecting the entire one of the stripes and just filling it in, going over it with um, another color. Oh, I can't get this stripe right. I'm sick if you hear me sniffing and stuff. So, we'll just keep adding some stripes. And I'm also going to add a pale chest to kind of illustrate the difference between a paler color on the ginger scale and a darker color. Continue to add these stripes. And remember that you're making these stripes as a circle, so like you're making sure they're all closed. So, for example, here's a stripe, and you want to make sure it's closed by adding a little circle at the edge. Especially if it's stripes that go outside of the line art, but if they're not stripes that go outside the line art, then you're pretty much fine, but um, make sure they're all closed regardless. So I'm going to fill in all these stripes. And as I've mentioned, if they're a color I don't like, then I can color select the stripes and pick a different color. 
gum and go to a different and then I'll just fill in fill it in with a color that's better but obviously that's not the color I'm going to use so um, with the c same color I used for the stripes I'm just going to go ahead and fix any mistakes that I made with the stripes as for example filling in some pixels that weren't colored all the way uh, making some stripes some rounder adding some more stripes stuff like that okay um I think it looks okay for now. So as normal, I'm going to go ahead and gauge and blur this. So gauge and blur at 1%. So now I'm going to pick a lighter color. So I'm just going to go ahead and color select from the first layer. So I get my normal base color. And I'm not going to go ahead and change the color wheel. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a lighter color. So I'm going to draw the shape for the color that I want and I'm going to fill it in. And if I can change the color anytime I want by doing the same method we just did for the stripes. And I kind of want to give this a little more shape. And you know, we just erase some stuff we don't need. Okay, I'm going to add um, a paler belly as well. That's usually where you'll make the belly, stomach, whatever. Um, I want a pale tail tip as well. So we'll just make sure it looks okay. And we'll just blur it again. So now we'll do a new layer, and for our um, shading, we're going to go ahead to the red colors, and we're going to go ahead and pick a dark red, because I found out that black shading doesn't really work on ginger cats. It might, but it just won't look really good. So we'll just do what we normally do for shading, just color it in. Um... And the only difference will be that it's red this time. So we'll blur it now. And when it's blurred to how we like it, we're going to change it. So as you can see, the mode on the layers, mo the layers table right here, it's at normal, but we're going to change it to multiply. And we're going to lighten it to the opacity, like lowering the opacity to the color we see fit. And when it is at that color, we're just going to fix our shading, and I think it could still be a little lighter. So I think that may be a more appropriate. So... We'll just fix the shading as we see fit. Um, so I think this is okay for shading right now. Um, so we're just going to add a new layer for the ear pink. And usually I like to make the ear pink a more warm gray color, but for a ginger cat, it's obviously not going to be that, so it's going to be a warm pinkish color. So, for the for the path tool, whoa, okay, we're going to click the path tool, and we're going to click the base of the ear, the top of the ear, and the base of the ear, again, um, across the left side. And then we're going to click... Um, we're going to click 
Well, this is not working for me. Okay. Okay. So we'll just. Okay, let's try this again. Path tool here, here, and here, and stretch it to the other side. And and I am getting impatient. Okay, let's try this one more time and make sure it doesn't explode on me. So we're going to gouge and blur it. <laughs> and make sure it's under the shading layer. And for the eyes, we're going to... Let's make this the green egg cat. So on the line art layer, we're going to fill in our eyes. So these guys, and we're going to down, across, up, across, across, across. So, well, we're going to pick a darker color for the top, a lighter color for the bottom, and a neutral color for the sides. So then we pick a black that goes down and a white that goes across. So when we've done that, now we can get rid of all the colors. So we'll just use the color we haven't used before and we'll just fill the whoops. We'll just fill the background. And we're going to go to color select, we're going to select the background, um, delete, 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 and delete, and I tried to delete the color player. So then we're going to control A as well. Um, if you see any mistakes, like for example, I think the tail shading is a little bit too thin, so I'm just going to fix that as I see. And just add some. Whoa, well, it's not blurring. We're just gonna blur it. And as you fix your mistakes, um, you'll do the same deleting waste again with the same procedure. And when you're done, th this will be your finished ginger cat. It might look different by different stripes, and if you add this or not. But hopefully, um, hopefully it looks okay to you. And I hope this helped you, and, um, yeah. Okay, thanks.